Hi this is Muhammad Rafiq welcome to my tech channel if you new here make sure click that subscribe button and enable bell icon for getting notifications for my future video uploads in this video i am going to show you how to fix the issue which is while you try to open any application the error come up like this which is the application was unable to start correctly and error code 0xc000135 so let us go and see how to fix this application error method 1 enable dot net framework using windows command prompt for the just uh, click start menu and type run or uh, cmd there you can see command prompt right click on it and uh, run as administrator and it will open a uh, command prompt window there you have to enter this commands one by one i will mention this uh, commands on this video description you can see that is uh, enabled that feature is enabled now you have to enter the second command hit enter Now you have to enter the third command. Hit enter. Okay, that's it. Method two: Enable .dot net framework using Windows features. for the just click on start menu and um, control panel just click on it and here just click on programs and features and here click on turn windows features on or off and here first select dot net framework 3.5 and expand it and select uh, all the options then select uh, dot net framework 4.8 and uh, expand it and select all the sub options under dot uh, net framework and now click on okay now it's uh, applying the changes Now you can see Windows completed the required changes. Now you have to re restart your system. Click on Restart now. After that, you have to check the problem is solved or not. Method three: Uninstall Windows Update Named KB five zero one three nine four three. This is not a recommended solution, but if the previous two solutions not working then you can try this method for uninstall the windows update just click on start menu and click on settings and here just click windows update and then update history and here you can see on update named kb50139434 for uninstall this update just go down and you can see uninstall updates and here you can see that updates just click on it and click uninstall click yes just wait for a while
now the uninstall is completed now you have to restart your system to take effect after restarting the computer you can try to open the application you can see the application opened without any error that's it thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe my channel if this video was helpful for you please like the video and if you have any queries please comment below the video i will look into it